Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, I just wanted to share some information. I thought it was just like kind of the perfect situation. A great um, example of how important little things like test prep can be for a student. So I was working with a student yesterday. It was his first time in for test prep. The student has a 4.5 GPA. Uh, very good student, has taken several AP courses, has done very well, and he said he wanted to work on English. His PSAT score was not exceptional. Certainly did not support his 4.5 GPA. So his ELA score on PSAT had been lower, so we decided to start there, working on that. And we went through the 10 rules for English, and he did his first 15 questions and 15 out of 15. And I said, oh my gosh, that's amazing since you were concerned that that wasn't your best score. And he said, yeah, he said, you know, must be a good teacher. He's very complimentary. I said, okay, let's do the next passage. And here's the, this is, sums it all up right here. So the next passage, he started going through and I'm watching as he's doing it. And despite the fact that he just got a 15 out of 15 following the exact strategies we discussed, that swell of confidence, like, oh, I've got this, he immediately reverted back to old habits, the easy way. So he started approaching this next passage in what he probably did on his PSAT, certainly not the strategies we had just gone through that had just made him so successful on the first passage. And I'm watching, just seeing it play out, like we know happens with students. Because again, what's easy? Your old ways are the easy ways. The old way of doing thing, the thing that comes natural because you've done it so many times. But when you're learning new strategies, especially for test prep, the practice is so important. It's not enough to say, oh, mastered that, got 15 out of 15 on my first practice. I know it now, I know the rules. Knowing the rules, and being able to effectively use them on test day are two different things, two completely different things. And this is why a lot of times people will say, well, my kid's got a really good GPA. I don't understand why we're not getting great test scores. It's because they don't know the strategies that relate to great test scores. So he finished the second passage. He got 11 out of 15. Clearly, 15 out of 15, if you're able to do that throughout the test, is a 36, a perfect ACT score versus 11 out of 15, if you do that on test day, you're in the 20s. So that's a huge difference. And so we talked about, okay, well, what did you do here? How did you approach this? Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh yeah, well, I thought I could just do it the old way. And so he realized really quickly that you can't do that. And we always assign students homework. We give them homework. We provide all materials. But we give them homework, and we don't ask for a lot. We ask students, this particular student, he worked on English. An English passage typically takes about nine minutes. So I said, 10 minutes of homework a night. I want 10 minutes. I want one passage every single night. That's not a lot to ask. But I can tell you without question that one passage a night is going to yield huge returns. Because he, you know, obviously we talked about how to practice and make sure you're using the strategies. Don't resort back to the old way. We see what a train wreck that was. So he's going to go ahead and do that. And what he's going to do is develop mastery in the new strategies with just 10 minutes a night. It's not like, oh, you have to sit down for hours at a time. I hear parents a lot of times saying, oh, I'm going to make them do two hours on Saturday. Two hours on Saturday, no one shows up for football practice two hours on Thursday nights in hope of winning the game on Friday. They practice every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ongoing for each Friday night. It's that consistent practice. And so that's what we encourage students to do. And the strategies work if you, if you commit them to habit. And it's the committing to habit, which is the hard part. It's not learning the new strategies. It's the committing to habit. It's erasing 11 years of doing it a different way in school and committing the new way to habit. And it makes a tremendous difference. But I just wanted to share that with you because he's the perfect example. He's the example of a kid who should be scoring much higher and hasn't, not 
because he doesn't understand the material, not because he's not a good test taker, not because he's not smart enough to do well. He just didn't know how. He didn't know the right techniques to use on test day. And even once he learned them, learned, not mastered, and practiced them on one section, he didn't immediately duplicate that because it hadn't become habit yet. So that's what we work on with students when we're doing test prep. And we find that that is the best way, the most effective way to get those scores up and Give your kids more opportunities for admission to top schools, as well as for scholarships at all schools. So hopefully that helps. If you want more information about test prep, just drop the word test down below in the comments and I'll reach out to you and we can have a conversation about where your child might be struggling, if it's their first time taking the test or the different programs that we have offer both in person and virtually to make it convenient for all of our students across the country. So hope to talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your Tuesday and just know that mastering test prep is not hard, but it does take consistent practice. We'll talk to you soon.